This video is brought to you by Sailrite. In this video, we'll be demonstrating and showing you how to install patches for adjustable support poles available from Sailrite. When making a boat cover, or if you already have a power boat cover, if you don't have support poles in the center of the cover, sometimes water can pool up and cause problems with the cover. So installing a support pole may be a viable option to fix any kind of problem like that. Adjustable support poles from Sailrite are made from anodized aluminum and offer three in-fitting combinations. Remove the inner pole and you'll notice a nylon stud or pole which will fit into a number two spur grommet. At the opposite end, remove the rubber cap and you'll see a stud snap installed to the end of the pole. So you can use a snap to install this to the cover. If you want to use the stud in a grommet, just simply push the end that has a snap into the outer tube and then adjust it to the appropriate height for your application using the thumb nut. Or if you choose to use the snap instead of the stud, simply install the stud end tube into the outer tube and you're ready to use the snap on your cover. As a possible third option, if you don't have a snap or a grommet, you can install the rubber end cap over the snap. Support poles from Sailrite offer three different optional installation methods. Your cover may already have snaps or grommets with patches already installed for support poles. This cover needs an adjustable support pole. Someone is underneath with the pole and Angela is marking the correct position for its installation with marking chalk. Using some of the same material that the cover was made from, we're marking and cutting out patches that are approximately six inches by six inches. We need three of them. And now we're applying double-sided tape to all three of them. We'll base the first two together. These two will go on the underside of the cover. We'll peel off the transfer paper revealing the double-sided tape. Double-sided tape is great because it helps to hold assemblies in place prior to sewing. Here's the location we want to install the patch for our support pole. And Angela has placed a pin through the fabric so she can determine where it is on the underside of the cover. She'll now base this two-layer assembly to the bottom side of the cover directly over the patch so that it's perpendicular with the seam line of the cover. Then she'll pull out the pin prior to sewing. Next, we'll take that third patch we haven't used yet and create a quarter-inch hem around the perimeter, basting it with the double-sided tape. When we're done, we'll apply double-sided tape on top of the hem all around its perimeter. We'll then baste it to the outer surface of the cover, parallel to the seam, right over the spot we want to install the support pole. The two-layer patch is underneath this, on the underside. Now we'll take it to the sewing machine and sew around the outer perimeter. It's always a good idea to begin your stitches with a few reverse stitches to lock your stitch in place. Angela's going to start here at a corner, do some reversing, and sew all the way to the next corner. She'll leave her needle buried in the fabric, lift her foot, rotate the fabric, lower her foot, and continue to sew to the next corner, doing this all the way around and then reversing at the end. Here's what it looks like on the top side, and here's what it looks like on the bottom side. We have plenty of area to hit the bottom patches because they have not been hemmed. First, we're going to show you how to install a snap for a support pole, then we'll show you a grommet. Here's the support pole with a snap installed. We're going to use the snap right system and install a button and a socket on the underside. The socket went on the snap right socket die and we push the mandrel through, install the snap right button to a, the snap right die and use our pop rivet tool to install that snap. That's all there is to it. Now we can use this cover on the boat with a snap and that support pole. Here the cover has been installed on the boat and we're working towards the stern. Seth is adjusting the support pole to the appropriate height and then locks the thumb screw when he's found it. Then he'll install the second support pole directly behind it. These are the support poles that have the snap. 
So he snapped it to the uh, uh, cover and then tensions the cover or snaps the cover to the boat. And we have a really nice tight fitting cover and no water will pool up there in the center. Perfect. For those of you who want to use a support pole with the stud that goes through the grommet, we're going to show you how to do that next. Use a number two spur grommet and we'll use the premium cutting block on the underside and a number two hole cutter. We'll punch a hole through our patch right in the center. Then we'll install the stud portion of the grommet by putting it on the anvil. We'll feed the stud through the hole that we just made in the cover. Then we'll use the female portion of the uh, grommet and place it on top so the teeth are facing down. Then we'll use the tool and give it a few blows with the mallet and that sets the spur grommet in place. That's the top side and here's the bottom side. Now when you install the cover just feed the stud through the grommet and then set the height and then put the cover on completely. Now this cover is ready for use and we can even trailer it without a lot of fabric bouncing around in the wind. Support poles are excellent. Sayerite sells a few optional sizes of adjustable support poles, but if it's too long, you can cut it down to size. We're going to show you how to do that next. First, remove the inner tube and pull off the rubber cap. Decide which system you want to use. We're going to use the snap instead of the uh, stud. After determining how much of the tubing to cut, we'll simply take a hacksaw and cut right through the tubing, cutting off the excess. Now we've done it to the inner tube, we also need to do it to the outer tube because they are almost equal. Once that's done, you'll need to remove the rubber end cap from the portion of the tube that will be discarded and we'll place it on the portion of the tube that has the thumb nut. Now simply insert the inner tube in the outer tube and now you have a much shorter adjustable support pole. That's how easy it is to make adjustments to the support pole if it's too long. Order your adjustable support pole from Sailrite today. It's your loyal patronage to Sailrite that makes these free videos possible. Thanks for your support.